Hi, today I'm going to show you everything about intelligent analytics on the Titanium System MBRs. First, go to the Start menu, then go to Intelligent Analytics. In here, you have Face Search, Behavior Search, Statistics, Target Database, Face Attendance, and Face Check-in. I'm going to explain every feature in today's video, so let's begin. Under face search, you can select the date, or a week, or today's date. I'm simply going to select search. This is going to search through all these three groups. So I would just select search. The system will display to me all the faces that the camera capture. If I click snap, it will show you a picture of their face. If I click original, it will show you exactly when that person was in front of the camera. Also, you can display it by list. Under list, it shows you the same results but in a list form. Let's go back to person. Let's say you want to search for a specific person. Let me go back to snap and then I will search for this specific person. I click on the three dots and then on the bottom, I click search. Now the system gave me a more in-depth result of that specific person only. If I click under match, it shows you how much this person matches the current picture on the database. As you see, it's 100, 99, 97, 78, 90%, 78, which is really close. If I click original, it shows me again when that person was in front of the camera. Now on the top, you got time. It shows you when that person was in front of the camera and at what time. Now let's go on the track. Track gives you the ability to load a map and edit the camera's location. For example, I'm going to edit the map by clicking on this icon. And then I can move the cameras from one location to another one. Let's just say there was a camera in the ballroom admin offices and then let's just say there's another camera in the west parking lot. You can also load the map by clicking in load map, have a USB connected to your MBR and then load the image. I already load mine but in this case I just select it again and click OK, it's the same image. Now once I'm satisfied with the camera locations, I just select OK and the system will load the map and the camera locations. As you see, this IP camera over here, that's where he was located. If I click play, it shows me which IP camera he was located at. Now, there's another option, this one, is called track. If you have different cameras, for example, IP camera 1 and IP camera 2, if I select track, if this specific person walk in front of two cameras, it will show you a tracking line when this person went from camera one to camera two. You can also edit the colors of the IP cameras, name color, line color, and the line width. So you're going to see a trace from IP camera one to IP camera two. Now, let's go back into the search. This concludes the section of the smart search. Let's go under behavior. Under behavior, you can create live analytics during playback. For example, let's just select Friday. And then we can select, for example, IP camera number two. Or let's just select today, the 27th. Now in here, on the top, you have your timeline and the colors that tell you what events is happening. As you see, the blues for schedule 24-7 yellow for motion, cyan for intelligent analytics, sensor, and manual. So let's just say you want to search for a specific area. Let's say in here. Simply you're going to draw a line from here to here by selecting this line pencil. Now on the top, it displays exactly when there was something that crossed this line. 
let's take a look I will zoom in and then I click here it shows me when it was movement on someone cross in this line you can also do other options this icon right here is full screen motion when you select that it shows you on the top the yellow bars when there was motion in the camera or you can select motion in a specific area let's say the door the intelligent analytics shows me a display when there was motion in that specific area of the door let's select another event as you see there was motion in the door so it shows me here on the top the same goes to draw a quadrilateral shape so you click this and you can select your shape and now on the top it changes the analytic results as well when there was motion in that specific area as you see there was motion in this area that concludes the playback behavior now let's go to statistics on the top the statistics just shows you how many times the person that was in the groups walk in front of the cameras for example if I select today's date and all the IP cameras that have facial recognition and then if I select block list it show me how many times the people that were in the block list walk in front of the camera if I select strangers it shows me how many times strangers walk in front of the camera also under general you can select a month and it shows you how many times people walk in front of the camera depending on the group for example general stranger and blockless or you can customize the time and date or by quarter week or by day that concludes the statistic menu let's go to target database under target database you can add the faces or add a group as you see we already created three groups in here is where I can add the faces if you want to learn more about it go to the other video that shows you how to add the faces into this group now as you see here I got three groups with faces on them already register so the system looks through all these faces and gives you all the statistics to add a group simply click add a group and name it any name that you want and then just click OK and to add a face you can simply click on the add select for the face search and continue the steps that concludes the target database menu now let's go to face attendance face attendance works best when you have a camera pointing at the entrance and let's say you have a dedicated exit so when you do that cameras will recognize those faces that you have under the target database groups so let's just search for this week and then the start working time is at 8 a.m. and the end working time is at 17 hours so for example I will select all cameras and then I will select all the groups the days from Monday to Friday and I will simply click search the system shows me the details here when for example worker 1 passed through the camera and that means he checked in or checked out if I click under details you see that he was absent on Monday but if I click on Tuesday it shows me when he checked in in camera 1 and then checked in in camera 2 this will be your entrance or your exit for example and that concludes face attendance now let's go to face check-in face check-in is similar to attendance but this works best if you have for example a camera on a parking lot and you have a dedicated security guard that he's supposed to be there at certain times during his work shift to check if he was there you simply select the cameras and also the group is on it and the time that he's supposed to be checking in let's just search for example today today as you see there was this person named worker one 
under the group stranger that he checked in today. If I click on it, it shows me when he checked in. On this example, it will be the camera in the parking lot and the security guard walk in front of the camera and the camera detected him that he checked in. It's very simple. Let's just say this other worker three. When I click on detail, it shows me when this worker checked in or when he passed in front of the camera. This concludes the intelligent analytics features. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.